Hi everyone. Hello. Hello. Um, we're the team that we're working on the AFA project, so that's the Asian Film Archive. Uh, we'll just introduce ourselves firstly. Um, so we had a great mentor, there's Martin right there, and he was uh, spending a lot of his weekends and nights uh, training us, so that was really awesome. Um, my name is Erica, I work as a management consultant and I specialise more in the mining industry, so also just another industry that is very uh, male dominated. Um, and the reason why I wanted to do Tech Ladies was really, um, I guess, to supplement my skill set. I work a lot, I'm currently working on an, uh, a company that runs an online trading platform um, and, and tech's constantly a part of, um, I guess, commercial roles as well. So it's great just to get the opportunity to learn a lot more about this space. And I'll, I'll let Eating um, introduce herself as well. Hi everyone, my name is Eating. I was a student until yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, um, it was, <laughs> so it was really cool to work on this project. We have really cool teammates, a really cool mentor, and I don't know, I think I'll actually let Erica talk more about what's actually more interesting for now. <laughs> and unfortunately our third teammate, uh, Vina, she couldn't make it uh, today because she's um, having a very well earned break travelling. Um, so on to AFA. Um, just a little bit of background about the actual NGO we were working for. So the AFA, what they do is um, they really focus on preserving and archiving uh, Asian films, um, just as their name suggests. And what they do is they take um, physical films uh, as well, because I mean, films don't last forever. Uh, they get put on a shelf somewhere and then next thing you know, someone wants to take out a film, have a look and, and the film's broken and unfortunately the movie's gone. And then also um, some companies that um, do have digital copies or they keep their own film, what they find is that they don't have any backups, uh, which is a real shame because at that point then you've completely lost that movie and, and um, all the information and all the work that's gone into it. So what AFA does is that they help to preserve and archive these um, movies in, on a digital platform. They also promote appreciation uh, of Asian movies and um, build cultural awareness um, uh, around Asian culture by, by promoting the appreciation. Uh, they provide access to comprehensive film resources um, and it's to provide um, more inspiration for like the creative process and um, they nurture a film community, uh, just a, a community of anyone that's interested in Asian films or that's involved in it to really foster um, a, a, a community around it and then also they facilitate marketing and distribution of Asian films, uh, particularly for independent filmmakers. So that's really cool because um, uh, firstly, we're preserving and celebrating Asian history and culture. Um, they celebrate the hard work and they recognise the hard work of the filmmakers um, and, and by archiving it, it's, it's really making sure that it doesn't get lost. But also I think the global film industry, um, you know, I think there's definitely heavily weighted towards American movies for example and this is really adding to the diversity of the movies that we have globally. Um, so the issue that the AFA were having was very similar to what they had at home and that was the fact that there were a lot of submissions coming in for films to be archived. So filmmakers and producers that, and, and anyone on the team, they would make submissions to the AFA, AFA to have their films archived. But the problem with that was that there wasn't really a central source of truth and therefore there was information sitting on spreadsheets, on separate Word documents, probably hard copies of Word documents emails and, and also um, emails and communications directed at various different people and team members. So, so it was really hard to keep track of it um, basically which, which makes it quite difficult for people to know exactly like for every movie what, what stage they were at in terms of the archiving process or finding out information and, and storing information about every film because that's something else that they do as well like not only do they archive it but they also have um, 
I guess, documentation and information about the films themselves. So that was where we came in. And what we looked at doing was creating a single source of truth and a website that would store all the information and, and a website that the AFA could direct anyone who wanted to archive movies to go to. Um, and that would include a submission form and the submission form itself had um, a standardised template. So everyone was filling out and answering exactly the same questions. Um, and we also inputted certain controls around um, around the inputs that they could have. And then along with that, uh, to assist them with their communication, just a, a section on FAQs, uh, a contact form. Um, and then within that, there would be an admin area so that anyone who was working on those projects could, could log in as an admin and actually see every single uh, film, every single project, and where they had got to with that, where, where the communications lay. And so just that really like one single source of truth. Along with that, we also allowed a sign up and login page so people who wanted to submit, they would be able to log in, they'd have their own account there and then they could also track the process of their application. Um, the, what we used, um, do we, do we talk about what we used? I'll talk about this. You're going to talk. Okay. <laughs> Eating set. Okay. So we have a very simple three step approach. Okay. So the first was the wireframes. That was actually prior to the program. So that was a lot of Martin's work. So um, he met up with our NGO, AFA. So they, they, talk, they communicated about the desired features. And then Martin sat down and did a wireframe of um, what, did a wireframe that met the expectations of the NGO. And then we have the second step, which is actually what we did during our program. So through Throughout the course of the eight-week program, we actually learn one new concept per week. So it sounds like it's pretty simple because it's one concept, but it's actually not simple at all. And um, it was a lot of stuff, a lot of information, but Martin was very patient. He was very good at explaining as well. And um, so we had take-home assignments after each lesson, and we had to, we had to do real-world problems, which is the apps for um, our project. So uh, we have three of us, and each of us actually have one sub app each. So Erica does the contact form, I do um, the FAQ, and I think Vina does the everything events app. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, almost everything else actually. <laughs> yeah, so um, we then brought all our code together. We made the final product, we presented it to the client. Um, so they gave us some feedback, and then we did some bug fixes and then that was it, we had our product. So I'll just walk you through our product. So this is actually um, the first page of the submission app for Asian Film Archive. So as you can see from the navigation bar above, there's welcome, how it works, contact us, profile, and logout. So um, welcome, how it works, and contact us are actually anchors on the, the default page. So this that you see right now is the welcome. And it's actually talking about um, what the submission app is about. So this part is actually my part. It was the, the FAQ section. So it talks about how the, FA, the AFA submission app works. So um, we, we see that it's actually accordions. You can, you can click on it. It will expand like the first one you see. And then you can click on it again, and it will contract like the rest. So it saves a lot of space. And this is actually Erica's work, the contact S form. So these are actually all three on the same page. It's just that uh, you will scroll down and you will see them. And at the bottom, you see that we have the admin dashboard as well. So this is actually for only for the admin. So if I'm not an admin, I would actually not see this at all. So moving on, we have the sign up page as well. So it's very simple. We don't require a lot of information. You just click on sign up or login at the top. And if you've logged in, you will see profile or logout as you've seen just now. So when you take a look at your profile, you will see a list of submissions. So if I am a new user, I would actually see nothing because I have not submitted anything. But for this particular user, they, actually, they have actually submitted two titles. So you can see Ice Cream and Friends, The Secret Life of Tech Ladies. So these are actually both drafts at the moment, and they were actually quite recently created. So the ID you see at the site 
it's 15 and 16, which comes a little bit strange to you because these look like the only two here. But I'll go on more to that later. So click on Create New Submission, and we will go here. So there are actually two pages for the creation of submission. This is the first page, where you just key in your original title of your movie. So after you key in it and you click on Continue, uh, the AFA team will actually get an email saying that someone has actually submitted this submission. Yeah. And then when you go on, you will actually have <coughs> a lot more information to fill in. So um, we have only a few necessary required fields, like original title, main language, which you see through the asterisk. And yeah, you can see at the top, this is a draft. So we'll skip the main part. We'll go to the bottom. You can see that um, there, there are some required fields and contact information as well. But most important here is that we have a save as draft button and a save and submit button. So we can just save as, save as a draft so you can return it to it later and edit it. Or you can save and submit so the AFT, AFA team will actually just get your submission. So between these two pages, that's actually more information. And it's not that we are trying to overwhelm the sub submitter using a lot of information, but these are actually relevant information. But that's why it's good that you can save it as a draft, because if you don't want to do everything together, you can actually come back again. <laughs> so as an admin, this is actually what you see. And if you recall just now, I said that um, both titles you saw just now were actually ID 15 and 16. And this is actually why. So they are actually the first two drafts for the user, but they are the 15th and 16th submission for the entire AFA. Yeah, so it's actually the most recent. You can see, as an admin, you can see who is the user who created the submission. You can see the creation date, the update date, and most importantly, you can see the status. So you can see whether it's a draft, whether it's pending review, whether it's accepted, or whether it's rejected. So for individual submissions, as an admin, if you look into it, so we are looking at the film The Forgotten. So there are actually two panels. You look at the left, it's actually more of the user submitted information. Like um, if I'm the filmmaker, I would have submitted all this information. And on the right, it's more so for the admin. So I could choose, um, so it, it's for me to tell the movie submitter, like uh, whether or not your draft has been rejected, whether or not it has been accepted, why it's pending review, what you should work on, and also notes for the admin themselves to be sure on their progress. So this is a little bit below what I <laughs> the page I just said. So you just scroll a little bit and you will be here. So as you can see on the right section again, you see the recent events. So this is what happens when you submit the events from the top section, when you click on the Add button. Yeah, so you can see that Joshua, the admin, has actually sent a message to the user. They have added some, they have tagged that the submission needs more work. So these are, this not only reduce the work for the admin themselves, but it also makes the communication more efficient between the admin and the submitters. Yeah, so <laughs> if you'd like to check out our work, please feel free to go to the website above. You can see our code. It's kind of cool. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thanks.